Are you bored of using the same old pitchers in Diamond Dynasty? It is October after all, and I would understand if you are. So if that is the case, I hope this video helps you because today you're going to learn how to pitch with 99 postseason Merrill Kelly. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny, aka KDJTV, and if you're new here, every Thursday I teach you how to pitch with a new pitcher in Diamond Dynasty. You don't see any swings I take, you just see every single pitch I throw, and the goal is to teach you guys how to sequence, how to tunnel, how to get weak contact, and how to get some outs. Make sure you like and comment down below what you think of Merrill Kelly, and don't forget to subscribe. We're on the path to 2,000 subscribers, and we're getting closer by the day. You can help me get there. All right, let's go take a look at Merrill Kelly's attributes, and hopefully we pitch a good game. I'm not sold yet that he's going to be great, but we're going to do our best. All right, so when we're looking at Merrill Kelly, first things to note, very obviously, the pitch mix is nice. Cutter, four seam, circle change, sinker, curveball. Ideally, we'd like a slider on a pitcher like this, but Merrill Kelly does not throw a slider. He throws a curveball, so that's why he has it. We're going to use it sporadically, but we're going to use it from time to time. When you look at his controls, that curveball is obviously the weak link. That's why it's the fifth pitch, but everything else is pretty damn good. The pitch breaks are all exceptional. I don't care about the four seam fastball not breaking a lot. Four-seam fastballs really don't break too much. Sometimes they ride, but it's not going to be a big deal here. We're not going to throw the four-seamer a ton. We're really going to live off that cutter and sinker. Thank you, MLB The Show Meta. When we're talking about attributes, really good across the board. The only thing that truly concerns me is the 101K per nine. Merrill Kelly is not a strikeout pitcher, so it's not going to reflect on his card. He's going to pitch to weak contact, which is what I genuinely try to do anyway. However, it's going to result in a lot more foul balls probably, so hopefully this game doesn't get too frustrating. Ranked has been killing me the last couple days. I had a World Series game and then proceeded to lose twice in a row, so we're, we're scuffling a little bit. We're going to try to right the ship here. When we talk about quirks, day player, pickoff artist, and breakout liar, the only one I truly care about here is breakout liar. You know, playing a day game would be nice as well. Pickoff artist, does anybody pick people off? I have a record of 105 and 30. The ranking is 855. We are on Hall of Fame. Let's go with a game. Our opponent today is going to be the Red Squirkle and Patrick Corbin. Oh, looky, the Cal Ripken boost. Hooray. And we're at Shield Woods. Everyone hang on to your butts because you know when we play at Shield Woods, weird stuff happens. We're going to go hit first. Be right there. Not a good top half of the first for me, but I've also been playing All-Star in the event and a lot of Spider-Man too, so I'm not exactly locked in currently. We're going to start with Merrill Kelly with a circle change away. I want to test what he's going to do. He's batting 292 with Semyon, so lower than what you'd normally see on Hall of Fame. His record was 42 and 17, so not bad. Cutter away. There we go. Okay, 96 on the cutter. That's actually, I didn't realize that was the velo we were going to get out of it, so that's good. We go to the sinker inside. He might be sitting on it. Nope. How did that back him off? All right. We're getting used to how Kelly works. I don't have a lot of experience using his card other than in BR occasionally. All right. Two and two. He has not swung yet. Let's take a look at the curveball. He definitely, I mean, that was a terrible pitch, and he offered at it, though. Couldn't check. One out. Love that. Oh. Very weird at bat. That's not really how I want to pitch with Kelly. It's just we kind of backed our way into that situation. Uh, so Cutter's in. This is going to get lefties out. Very nice. That's going to be a very effective pitch against lefties. I want to try now, after he's done pausing, this sinker below the zone. Cattell Marte kind of has that type of swing that, of course, he can barrel those pitches, but he also rolls over a lot. It's got to be closer. Got to be closer. We'll go back to the cutter inside. i got to get my timing down with the pinpoint on Merrill Kelly. A one and two. See if he chases below again, but this time with a circle change. Absolutely. I don't know if my guy's a free swinger or not. But low pitches seem to be working, so we're going to try to exploit that as this game goes on. We've thrown a lot of first pitch cutters, oh, a lot of first pitch cutters in. <laughs> We've thrown enough first pitch cutters into lefties already through one inning that I'd like to mix it up there. That's why we did that. Circle change, low it in. Different type of spot for that pitch. Good take. He's not a free swinger. It's just with, with pitches below the zone and two strikes, he gets a little horny. Trying to be very careful against Jordan because he's one of those guys that for some reason I could just never get out. Two and one. That was a good spot. Two and two. Okay. Jordan is not the person I want to try a backdoor cutter against. I will throw the backdoor cutter at some point, though, to someone. Just not Jordan. 
Got him. Hey, we struck out the side with Merrill Kelly. Could not ask for more. He's not a strikeout pitcher. Remember I said that? We just got three in a row. We got our first hit, but my God, Patrick Corbin eats me up. Eats me up all the time. Not good. So sinker inside to Jimmy Fox, who is a push hitter. So I don't mind working him inside a little bit. Normally, that's a scary pitch to throw to a power hitter. But until he proves he can turn, I'm going to throw it. All right. He turned a little bit, but he hit it weakly. So that's, that's our first out. That's the type of out I expect to get with Merrill Kelly. Weak contact on the ground. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, yeah. So Juan Soto scares the ever-loving shit out of me. I mean, that's a change-up outside. That's a Shield Woods homer. That's that's a Shield Woods homer. That was a perfectly executed pitch. That's, that's four inches outside. All right, down one. Shield Woods is going to be some weird stuff. We're going to have to take the good with the bad here. That's That was a bad pitch. Uh, that home run is not on Merrill Kelly. Or on me, to be perfectly frank. I mean, that was just a stupid Shield Woods swing. All right, now we're going to work a double play. We cannot let this get out of hand. Cannot let this get out of hand. I'm going to go back to the cutter inside. He hasn't seen it in a few batters. It's foul. It's fine. Uh, Merrill Kelly is not going to overpower people. As you can see, the three strikeouts we have are all on kind of like gimmicky pitches. We're getting him to expand the zone. So that means we have to pitch to weak contact. If you're not overpowering anybody, be careful. Which is why I'm not sold on Merrill being a viable option. Okay, three and one. Now he's not chasing. Peace. All right. This might not be a long game for Merrill Kelly. Can we get it in quick? No. Nope. All right. Now we're down two nothing, and there's one out. Not good. I don't know what happened to the guy I struck the struck out three times in a row in the first inning. Again, though, this is Shieldwoods, so I am not concerned about a two no two nothing deficit. I can't speak. Two nothing deficit. Excuse me. It's got to get outs. Throw a change up off of that circle, or off of that cutter rather. Oh come on. All right, I feel like weird stuff's happening now, and I don't, I don't like when weird stuff happens. Who's their nine hitter? Cal Ripken, meaning it's not Cal Ripken. What an unfortunate <laughs> second inning here. Sinker away, roll it over maybe. Ah, uh, he did, but we're not gonna get two on it. Three nothing. I mean, I got the pitch I wanted, or I got the result I wanted. He just hit it too softly. A three spot in the second inning. Wow, not good. How often do you guys see me let up three in an inning? It doesn't happen a lot. At least in these videos. It happens a lot when I'm not recording. Wow. Um, Merrill might be hot trash. Four nothing. Wow, okay. We might turn this into a bullpen. That was a perfect perfect. We might turn this into a bullpen video. I don't know. We'll see. But hey, this is science. If nothing else, we're doing this for science. Ball. Or, if nothing else, only listen to what I said in the first inning. When I struck out everybody. All right, down four, absolute horseshit horrible inning. It started off weird. There were a couple weird instances, but overall he hit the ball really well. We have to get some runs back here. Just no questions asked. When I tell you I'm being hoed, I am being hoed. So we had first and third with one out and the weirdest, strangest double play ever happened. So here we are still trailing for nothing. We need a one, two, three inning like we need air to breathe. So we're going to really work hard to execute our pitches. One, On one and two, he has not seen the curveball in a minute. Maybe we'll get another check swing strikeout. No, now, now he's the most patient hitter known to man. No problem. Sinker up and in. He'll think it's a cutter. Called strike three. Missed the spot. I don't like Merrill Kelly, guys. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I am not having... What is happening to my pinpoint? I am not having fun using Merrill Kelly. We're going to try to gut out a decent performance here. There we go. One out. Listen, it's already a not great start, right? Four runs in one inning, and it's only in the third. It's not going to be a pretty end-of-game box score, but we just have to do our best to get a little bit of depth out of Merrill Kelly, preserve some bullpen, and hopefully get the win. I mean, we're, we're hitting better. Weird stuff's happening, as I said, but we got to start chipping away at this. We go low and away, then we go kind of up and in, middle in, whatever, but we're changing spots. 
I'm gonna go to cut her up and away. That's a spot he has not seen. Chase it out of the zone, please. Perfect. Perfect. That was well executed. Now he's back to being an average fella. Juan Soto is the guy who killed me with that really outside changeup. There we go. Changing eye levels, changing pitches. 0 and 1. Now a little harder in that same spot. 0 and 2. Actually, it's an out. Perfect. Much better inning. Maybe the second inning will just be the flukiest of fluke, right? I think we're going to be okay. YouTube, I just had two in the PCI pop-ups behind the catcher in the same inning. So, hopefully that little thing we did in the pause menu resets all of the cheating and makes me great again. Ochev does it. It works for him. He's a much better player than I am, but still. First pitch, out. Love it. I need to score. I keep, I get a perfect, perfect every inning since the second. And then nothing happens because some weird shit occurs. But this is about pitching. Two pitches, two outs. I mean, he hit the shit out of that, but it was a low sinker liner thingy majiggy. So Merrill Kelly is back. Merrill Kelly is officially back. Tell everybody we back up, as they say in the wire. All right, 1-0. I'm curious what this cutter is going to do on the inside pitch to a righty. It's going to miss, even though he's got really, really nice par regions. I think this pitch is what he hit for a single the other way last time. And he did it again. Son of a beast thing. Okay. Runner on first, two outs. Let's not let a two-out rally happen. Let's lock in. It's the nine-hitter who is Kyle Tucker. He rolled over last time. Perfect. Nice job. If Ellie gets there, which he should, he's a beast. Through four, four runs. Horrible. But we're pitching better and pitching very well outside that one inning. Please. Let me hit. All right, we're back. Four to three. Better. Much better. The leash also is very short now on Merrill Kelly. My opponent has gone to the bullpen. I actually chased Patrick Corbin that inning, thank God. But a first pitch out is great for Merrill Kelly. Like I said, if he can gut something out here and just keep me in the game, that's all that matters at this point. That's a strike, absolutely. You see what we're doing at this point, right? We're staying inside the lefties and we're staying low to lefties. And we're trying to pound righties in. Because I don't know if they're going to turn on his stuff. They'll go the opposite field with that cutter if they sit back. But the sinker's tough to turn on. Two outs. Doing great. This guy. Yorda. Who's actually 0 for 2 so far. Okay. Um, I need to give him a different look. Oh, God. A 1-0 curveball is not something we've thrown. That's fine. Even I mean, I'd argue he swung. But even though he didn't, that's okay. Just want to give him, give him something to think about. Okay, 2-0. He was early on that. Or 2-1, rather. Sorry. Below the zone with the sink piece. Let's see if he's early and beats it into the ground. Early. Didn't beat it into the ground, but a relatively weak liner. Much better. Momentum is starting to creep our way. Let's keep going at the plate. All right, Cody Bellinger tied it. Nice. So now... I need to take a multiple run lead at Shield Woods because we are not the home team. Oh, God. Sinker, he turned. Remember when I said Jimmy Fox doesn't turn on inside stuff? He just did. So now Jimmy Fox does not get inside stuff for the rest of the game. But either way, it's an out. That was actually an excellent pitch. Good swing by him. One out. A lot of early outs. Oh, my God. Another warning track out, I think. Please, Acuna, for the love of Christ. Oh, my. God. <laughs> my guy is screaming right now. Two outs, two loud ones, <laughs> but they're outs. Oh my god! All right, he's swing happy, so sink uh, change up below the zone. That's what I meant. He's still swing happy. Okay, see that's a smart pitch there. When you can tell that your opponent's swing happy, don't throw a strike. Put it somewhere he cannot hit it. Good take there, though he thought about it. I'm gonna do it again, but lower this time. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunate inning for him, but boy, is the momentum swinging my way. Merrill Kelly, somehow, through six innings, and he might stick stick in. I don't know. I don't know. The bullpen's ready. The lead is ours. It feels good. Matt Carpenter with a pinch hit two-run homer. So this will be Merrill Kelly's final inning. The fact that we might get him through seven, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Nice job by us recovering, but I think it also shows how kind of weirdly fluky and locked in our opponent was in that second inning one away we're cruising right now and you guys are seeing what we're doing we're not doing anything fancy 
We're throwing stuff off the plate low. We're throwing stuff inside to both lefties and righties. And it's working for the most part. It's getting outs. Merrill Kelly is going to pitch to contact. That first inning was so strange and weird. That was a good swing. 7-5. to five. I think this might actually be the end of the road. But either way, a contact pitcher at Shield Woods is, is not a good formula. The best of Merrill Kelly was very good. The worst was very not good. I'm actually... This is pretty stupid. I'm going to let him go through this inning. I'm going to let him do it for the content. Normally, he'd be out of this game by now, by now but for the content, we're going to keep going. What a sweet He's three for three with Royce Lewis. Two balls pieced the other way through the infield for singles, and then that swing, which was very good. All right, two outs. Nice job jamming Kyle Tucker. He has not been great with Kyle Tucker. Who is his, his leadoff guy? Marcus Semyon has a perfect, perfect double, if I remember what swing that was. It was off a cutter. There we go. Nice job. Seven innings. Five runs. A lot. But seven innings for Merrill Kelly. And at Shield Woods, five runs will live with that. All the damage basically done in the second inning. Seven hits allowed. Listen, guys. It's as good as we're going to get. Let's go win a goddamn game. All right. Figured I'd give you guys a treat here. We'll use Brian Abreu, a new reliever who they gave a sinker to. I actually think he's pretty good. I'm going to try to use him on the God Squad as long as he doesn't suck. And he just let up a homer. So now it's seven to six. And yes, was that a bad pitch? Absolutely it was. It was not supposed to be in the strike zone. Oh joy. So now seven, six. To be fair, that's the first run I've allowed with Brian Abreu and I've used him quite a bit in events. His pars are kind of big because he throws kind of hard. Fastball up and away, right down the cock. Oh no, please swing at this. Yep, we can elevate a fastball when you have outlier. It's a nice, it's a nice thing to have. Okay. Got to lock in. Slider away, very nice. Tunnel it with the slurve. Different break. Oh, he thought about it. Oh, he did. He really did. Get this low, please. Two, one. Brian Abreu gives me anxiety because I haven't really used him much. Kenley has... Not perfect energy, but he'll be fine. We're going to use him if we have to. Got him. Two and two. Okay. I don't want to go above the zone again because I think he's going to know it's coming. Chase this. That's a great two-strike pitch, man. It really, truly is. Slider. Get him. Wow. Good at bat. Wow. Okay. Um. Shit. Matt Schramm. I got to go lefty-lefty. Another new pitcher. Matt Strom, he's going to go to the bench. That's probably fine. Matt Strom's going to be okay regardless of who he's facing. This, I hate Shield Woods, man. All you have to do is breathe on the ball and it's over the fence. So I'm trying to be extra, extra careful. It's just tough. Um, I don't really know what I want to throw. We'll start with a sinker in, I guess. Ball, that's Check it. swing bandit, this guy is. Truly. Cutter. Give me a rollover. No, that missed, wow, good pitch. Can't believe he took that. Um, now I'm in a pickle, in a rut. Nice. Okay, two and two. Or uh, one, two and one, whatever the fuck the count is. Sinker inside. Two and two. Okay. Two and two. <sighs> what are you chasing? You chase a cutter? Can you put that in play instead? Strikeout. And we're losing. Wow. I shouldn't have taken Merrill Kelly out of the game. Just late. Ugh, I hate Shield Woods, man. That didn't exactly go where I wanted it to, but like, really? Really? Shield Woods is so stupid. Look at this. This is almost gone, too. We're going to get a play on this? No, off the wall. I cannot stand playing here. I try to offer friendlies to everybody I play here because I just don't want to deal with it. Well, it looks like going to the bullpen, shockingly, was a silly decision to make. Or I just went to really bad pitchers. I'm not sure. Slider in. Also, my guy now has an immaculate eye at the plate. He did not have this the entire game. It's random, like, what innings it shows up in. Acuna, please. Oh, thank you. That's a massive catch. That's a potentially, like, game-saving catch if we can come around and score in the ninth. We have to score. We're down one. 
Royce Lewis, I'm not playing any games with Royce. I'll go to my third pitcher of the inning. I don't care. I need this out big time. Strike one. The changeup from Kenley is an absolute weapon, by the way. If you guys don't use it enough, you should. Okay. I'm going to do it again with the changeup. That's a stone cold take. Wow, good fight off. That's a stone cold take on that changeup. I can't believe he took that. Uh, what's going to dial me up a strike out here? Slider? Yep, okay. I'll see you guys when we have a box score to talk about. Pray for me. Hopefully it's a win. Well, we tied it. Pray for me. Pray that we can take this to extras. One out on the first pitch is so nice, especially against a lefty. Shieldwood's games are so unnecessarily sweaty, and this does not feel like a how to pitch with, because I don't feel like I've pitched particularly well. But 8-8 nope, eight to eight at Shieldwood's oh. is kind of par for the course, so I'm going to keep throwing pitches below the zone and hope we can get some grounders, because otherwise we're in bad shape. 3-0. <laughs> and oh. oh my god. I didn't want to put anything in the zone there. 3-0, and oh, he's probably going to swing, especially in this situation. I'm going to Rysel. I need full stamina. And I actually think Rysel is kind of... kind of gross. Oh my god. That should have been a walk-off home run. Why did it not go anywhere close to where I wanted it? Same pitch as that. Oh my god, Rysel! I just put you in with a vote of confidence, man! Don't kill this for me. This is less of a how to pitch with now and, and more of a please don't hurt me. Ball. I mean, he's taking pitches that he did not even think about taking early in the game. No, His eye right now is just out of this world. Good for him. Oh, <gasps> that was strike three. I don't care. I don't care what the ump says. That was strike three. Now we're in danger. I mean, we were always in danger, but now we're definitely in danger because a single wins it. I need a miracle. Outside. That's the ball. I need a hero. That's the ball. He's just, he's stone cold taking everything. Good fight. Good fight. Are you guys stressed? I'm sweating right now. Oh my god, he's 0 for 5 with Jordan. What a huge out that was. Alright, that's the only time he's getting that. It's the only time he's getting that pitch in this at-bat. Oh my god. Out of the zone. I have to be really intentional with that slider, apparently, because it doesn't miss like I need it to. I'm gonna try it. Okay, oh, Jimmy Fox is kind of not short, but not tall. He's in the middle. To extras, <laughs> I'm running out of pitchers. We have a three-run lead. So much better than two, especially with the Manfred runner to start. That miss, that's the ball. It is imperative that we get through Soto with Iglesias, because my bullpen's ball. pretty shallow right now. Two balls, no strikes. And we're not throwing strikes. Three and oh. Three and one. Oh my god. Three balls, no strikes. Three and two. Uh, I, I'm gonna throw another change up. This is probably very stupid, but like I, I need to I need to change him. Change him up. What, what a take. Edge, what a what a take. I mean, there's nothing else I can do about that. Let's turn a double play. Oh my god, that's huge. My only relievers with energy right now are lefties, and that's why I didn't want to bring him in for Tatis, because that was an accident waiting to happen. I understand now a three-run homer ties it. So uh, I got decisions to make. Carlos Santana, worse against lefties, Royce against lefties. All right, Zach Britton, here we go. Please, Zach, I need you. Sager in. Oh, we got ahead in the count. That makes me happy. 
What a take. I mean, this guy has not swung at a ball in how long? Swing early. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! What a win! Oh my lord! What a win! That game took years off my life. So let's have a conversation about this game. A horrible second inning by Merrill Kelly. You erase that inning and this game is very different. I know you can't do that. That's not how this works. I'm just saying. We out hit our opponent 17 to 10, yet we had to go to extras. So that's a whole nother conversation. But overall, Merrill Kelly was pretty gutsy. The final line here on Merrill Kelly, seven innings, five runs, a 6.43 ERA. Not pretty. Four strikeouts. Three of them came in the first inning. Such a very strange game. Will I be using Merrill Kelly again in ranked? Probably not. Maybe in events, we'll see. Do I recommend you use Merrill Kelly? Probably not, unless you're absolutely disgusting with him. Listen, he was gutsy. He got us through seven. He saved a lot of the bullpen, but overall, just not great. If you guys enjoyed this sweaty, sweaty video, I'm sweating in the pits right now. Make sure you like and comment down below your thoughts on everything that just transpired. I love you guys. Thank you for making it to the end. See you next time.